What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can retrieve your personal vehicle from the impound lot much quicker and without all the hassle of having to drive there and then either pay the fee or steal your car and then remove your wanted level. I don't know about you guys, but I really dread when my car gets impounded and it's a huge pain for me, so this method might just help you out. So why don't we get started? So obviously the first step of this is going to be getting your personal vehicle impounded. In this case, I'm going to do it with this yellow car here, the Cabrio, and uh, as you can see right here, when I died and was killed by the cops, it told me right in the top left corner there that my car has been impounded by the police and that I can pick it up. So this is where the actual method starts. Obviously that first part there was just me getting my car impounded. You don't need to go out of your way and intentionally do that. I assume you're here because that happened. So this is where the actual steps start. You want to just steal a car off the street. Any old random car. And then as you can see here, my garage is just about 10 feet away. So I drive it over and I pull it into the garage. It's going to tell me that my garage is full, but I'm going to pull it in anyway. I'm going to hit A and uh, after a short loading screen here, it's going to put me inside of my garage. Now it's going to ask me which car I want to replace. Since the Cabrio is the one that's impounded, then that's the one that I'm gonna want to replace. After doing that, quickly walk out of your garage. So as soon as we're out here, I'm just gonna pause the game real quick to show you that my personal vehicle is still on the map, despite replacing it. As we go over here to the right on the map, there's my personal vehicle icon, so I do still have it. It still has the tracker on it, despite replacing it. So now, all you want to do is bring up your job list and accept any random job. It doesn't matter. This one's from Martin, and I hit A to start it, and then as soon as I'm in the job settings, I'm just gonna back out, just like that. Now, as soon as you are put back onto the street, look at my mini-map, right there. My personal vehicle icon is right next to me, and as I jump up on top of this ledge, there's my personal vehicle, right back in my apartment. So, with this method, I didn't need to drive to the impound lot, I didn't need to pay the fee, I didn't need to jump over the fence, and then, you know, drive it out and steal it, and then lose the two wanted stars, and it just made the process a lot easier. So, as you can see here, the last thing that we're gonna do is drive the car up to the garage, once again, it's gonna say the garage is full, but this time when you pull it in, you're going to replace the crappy car that you just got off the street. So, as you can see here, we are going to appear inside my garage, and it's gonna ask me which car I wanna replace, and we're just gonna go down to the surge right there and hit A, and just like that, look at that, there's our car right back in our garage. So overall guys, this method is in my opinion a lot easier than having to actually get my car from the impound lot, you don't have to deal with the police, you don't have to pay a fee, and the majority of the time this method is actually faster. By the time you would lose the police and everything with the other method, this is going to save you some time and hassle. So with that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, please stay tuned for more videos in the future, and with that, I will see you next time.